here? Yeah. Jesus, he here. Yeah. Can, can I say something to you? Yeah. Yeah. He does here. He encouraged the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He little, he motivated me because he knew what had happened all night long. Yeah. Can I help somebody drop something on you and move on? Don't, don't, don't get frustrated because you have labored all night and seemed like you haven't heard anything. Yeah. Jesus seen what you've been through. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, watch this, watch this. The interesting thing about it is when Jesus tells them to go back out, yeah. they got nerves enough yeah. to try to tell Jesus right. how frustrated they were. Yeah. Can I help somebody? Yeah. You will always become frustrated, angry, mad, aggravated when you try to do ministry to what God Jesus. Right. Yeah. Ooh, can I say that again? Yeah. Yeah. If you try to do ministry without Jesus, you will always find yourself aggravated, frustrated, mad, upset, and ready to give up on life because you ain't got nothing going on. But if Jesus, hallelujah, if in the middle of what you're doing, don't ever worry about the end result because Jesus take care of you. Mm -hmm. So here they are. He send them back out. Tell somebody and say, go back out. Okay. It ain't over. Jesus tried to let them know. But here they are. They was looking for a sign. They went out there and they went fishing all night long. And they thought they were useless because the sign said, that, listen, you didn't get nothing. You might as well go on hang up in that. Because ain't nothing happening. Tell somebody one more time for me. Don't be looking at those signs. Because just because you came in empty this time, it's not a sign that God didn't call you. It just might have been a sign that the devil was looking at you. And he kind of cover up all the fish to keep you from catching anything. But I, when God come in the boat with you, put somebody say, I feel God getting on my boat now. When God get on the boat with you, God will begin to do something. When God get in the boat with you, something begin to happen. When God get in the boat with you, it change your perspective on life. It change your intention in life. It change your direction in life. It change your understanding in life. When God get on the boat with you, no matter how rocky the boat is. So 
more for you. God got something that's waiting on you. And I'm glad, Dr. Young, that my name is written on it. You can't have it because it belongs to me. You can't have it because my name is all over it. And I'm glad. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Huh. He's sending back up. One final time. Yes. Glory to God. Yeah. Ain't it all right? Y'all yeah. don't hear me. Yeah. Ain't it all right? He goes out. Yeah. Drop the net. One more time. Yeah. Wait a minute, Lord. Then I've been here before. Yeah. Wasn't I right here? Yeah. In this very same spot. Yeah. It is where I was last night. Yeah. Laying in here. This is where I fell on my knees and began to cry. And this is where the pain came in my body. And I say, go one more time. It ain't over. Yeah. But if you stay on course, I'm going to show you how to bring your ship in. And your ship won't come in empty, but it'll come in full. The Bible declares. That when they tuck up their net, that net was full and it was working and the boat was sinking. Can I help somebody? Grab your neighbor for me and said, neighbor, I need you right here. Well, glory. Y'all got, got to see this thing. Can I slow down for a minute? Let me slow down for a minute. I need you. Now, why do you need your neighbor here? God got more for you yes. than you can handle yes. by yourself. He got so much for you that you got to be able to share it with somebody else. You just can't take it all home. You can't handle it by yourself. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Whoever been in church on Sunday sometime and seen like the anointing of God got hold of you. And it was so awesome and so powerful that you had to run to somebody and grab somebody because God was all over you. It seemed like you had to get him off you because he was messing with you. He was filling your cup and your cup was running over and you wanted to give somebody some of that joy that was down on the inside. Y'all don't hear me. Their boat was running for the neighbor. Come on, neighbor. I need you right here. Can I say something to the church? God trying to show us we can't do the thing by ourselves, but we need one another. Grab your neighbor and say, I need you right here. We get ready to get a blessing in here. We get ready to overflow Mount Eden. And the pastor can't have it all by himself, but he needs you. You and you and you to help him out. He needs each one of us uh, to make this thing work. Uh, and I'm glad this morning uh, that I'm in the number. Uh, I'm glad this morning uh, that God didn't leave me out. Uh, but God called my name. Uh, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad Celebrated and the boat was full. Listen here, the boat full was a significant sign that the blessing of God was in their hand. Yes. Woo! Yes. Y'all missed that, did y'all miss that? Y'all miss that. While you sitting here waiting on God, God said the blessing.
Amen. Let's look, let's look to God, let's look to God. Minister, just speak out and trust somebody near you. Amen. Just trust somebody near you. 